So I'm going a lot faster than my net was, and I'm starting to feel the burn. Oh, I've been doing this for 30 seconds. That's all. Okay. Look, the board's taking shape, though. Hi everyone, welcome to Tigner Adventures. So this is our new adventure. These are actually blow up paddle boards. And so we're gonna, we've got one all done and we're gonna show you uh, the unboxing of the second one and how it, you know, what comes with it and how we're gonna use it. So this is gonna be the fun thing. So <laughs> we're making our adventure that more adventurous. And Ninette is showing off the vest we're still looking for vests so if you guys have a good idea what uh, kind of vests are best for paddle boarding uh, we would love to <laughs> know because you know you look around I mean unless you can find something in the store somewhere um, you know it's really tough to look online to really know what works and what doesn't and so anyway if you got some ideas let us know all right so this is the size box it comes in. It's 11 inches by 15 inches by 35. That's basically the size of the backpack when we're done. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. Let's put that down there. Now one of the cool things about this paddle board that, we, that attracted us to it is it's got a seat. So we can actually use it as a kayak also. So that's the first thing it comes with. So that's pretty cool. It's got a nice uh, backpack. So you can uh, carry it around by this handle or you can use these straps and carry it into wherever you're going. And then, of course, it's got all the paddles and it's got two different ones. You can do it as a stand-up one or as a, or when you're just paddling along like a kayak. Uh, it does come with a repair kit. In case you have an issue, you just peel the patch off and stick it on. And here is our rudder that we have to put on the bottom of the board. And our pump. This is a nice pump. It's got an air gauge in, built in right up here. And it actually pumps it up, pulling it up and down. Just pumps it right up. So that's pretty nice. It does come with an ankle strap right here. So that hooks to the board and around your ankle. So if you do fall off, you don't have to go chasing too far for your board just pull it back to you it does have so it has that pump that you can hand pump it um, it says it takes like you know five to ten minutes you know Ninette just pumped hers up and did it a lot slower and it pumps the same it just might take a little bit longer so you don't have to wear yourself out to do it so uh, but it does have this little valve that plugs in there and you can use a an electric pump uh, to pump it up it's just a regular valve stem on there got the instructions right here and of course you know it's all these pages but there's only two pages that are English <laughs> like most instruction books these days so it has all about the uh, how to put it together and the warranty and things and then here's the actual paddle board so you can see there's not a lot to it so pretty nice so we'll just take that and get it out of the way and we're just gonna set this down here and roll it out. So I've laid out just a t long piece of tarp here uh, that we're gonna lay this out on because we're over here in the rocks and everything. So, and then the first thing you'll notice is it does have this strap here, so it's all strapped together. And it's uh, best to kind of take note on how this is actually uh, folded up to begin with, so you can do it the same when you are done. So there's the first thing off. Now we're just gonna take this and we're gonna actually start just rolling it out. So if you'll notice, this is it's all wrapped in plastic. That is the front of the boat. So we're just gonna roll it out. And just like that. We're done, just rolled out. It's ready to actually start pumping up. All right, so it does come with a hand pump. Again, it's got the gauge on the top here, and there is some maintenance things about this in the instructions. You can take this off to clean it. You know, there's a lot of things to try to keep this stuff clean. You wanna figure out which side of this is the air is blowing out, and which side is the air is 
sucking in. The thing is, is that this uh, tip right here, it doesn't twist. So you have to twist the whole hose. So you want to put this on the pump before you connect it to the paddle board. And then if you look here, there's this um, valve. This is where we're going to fill it up with air. There's just a little twist cover. Just, And then within there is a little pressure valve that pops up and down, kind of like that on a uh, bicycle. Same kind of valve stem idea, except on this one, you can push it in and twist it one way and it will lock it open so it lets all the air out. And you twist the other way so it goes up and down and seals it so that the air uh, stays in. So you want to make sure to double check this that it's keeping the air in there so it's it's on the spring where it's popping up and down. So when you get ready to unhook this when you fill it up, you don't lose all your air. So, but if you look at this valve or the connector right here, it's just set up to just slip in this hole and it just twists around and locks right into place. Pretty nice design. Uh, the one that uh, came with it as far as using it with an electric pump locks in the same identical way. Everything is identical except for the actual pumping of it. In that case, you'd lock that piece in and use an electric pump to fill it up. We don't want to be over 15 pounds. The last one we did at 10 pounds and it's pretty hard. And they said that there's no real difference in the way the board performs or anything above 15 pounds. So there's no reason to put in all that extra air. And if you do put a lot of air in it and it's in the sun and it starts heating up, then the air pressure builds up. And if you're already at max, then you do have the chance of one of the seams splitting. So you don't really want to put it out to its max. I'm going to go ahead and just hand pump this. We didn't uh, buy an electric pump, so we're just going to do this hand pumping. We've already done one. It wasn't too big a deal, but 9at is going to time me on pumping this up. And I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to wear myself out too much, but um, I'm just going to kind of go at a steady speed. Let's just see how long it actually takes to pump this uh, paddle board up. Pretty easy right now. Little bits are starting to inflate there. Well, I'm getting my workout. We'll speed through this so we don't have to bore you with how long it is really taking me to do this. So I'm going a lot faster than 9 net was and I'm starting to feel the burn. Oh, I've been doing this for 30 seconds. That's all. Okay. Look, the board's taking shape though, so not bad. Okay, gotta take a break. Okay, 10 seconds. We're almost done. Of course, the pressure gauge doesn't start going up until you actually build up some pressure inside. So, right now it's the pump is going up and down pretty easy. So it's almost looks normal. I'm sure it's a little, a little spongy. Okay, a little bit more. Nope, the meter's not moving yet. Almost two minutes, I'm going way too fast. Okay, this is a little bit of a workout. Okay, we are up to almost five pounds. Okay, we're gonna stop at 10. It's definitely getting harder now. This is your, what's that heart workout? You either have a heart attack or you get to go out on your paddleboard. Three minutes. Stop it out, we're at nine pounds. All right, all we do is just pop that out and it's all sealed. Whew. Now we're gonna go get the lawn chair out and sit down and rest. <sighs> okay, so the paddle board is up. One of the things that uh, we love about this is this seat that we can put in here and make it a kayak. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook that up. But basically there are four, uh, little eyelet things right here that you can hook to. And we're gonna take this, the middle ones right here, we're gonna just hook back here to this. Get that about the same. So it looks good there. And then we'll take this strap and we're gonna hook it up here. 
so when you sit down on this you can lean back against this and you can adjust this while you're out there it's a little nicer probably to get it kind of adjusted before you start now I'm gonna go ahead and take off all this plastic and right back here is our fins we got two right there and then it comes with a fin right here so we're gonna go ahead and put this on you actually take it and insert it into the hole here push it forward so it locks in there and then there's a screw right here that you just screw it down nice and tight but not too tight guys you don't have to break it off and here we are and the nice thing is you just carry it like this use it as a paddle board so these just hook together like that so it's a paddle board and you can flip this little lever up here and adjust this up and down depending on what length that you want as you're paddling or you can take this out completely and you can put this other paddle in here and it will lock in there the same way and now you have a double paddle for your kayaking it also has this nice little place here where you can set up your camera and right on the front of the paddleboard. The boards are done. We're ready to go. So All right. let's go have some fun and let's see what the water's like. Let's check. Clean your shoes off. Trying it without the seat. Just paddling along. I'm not in the middle. Oh, look at that. I'm in the back, I think. You're gonna fall. I'm You're gonna fall. You're gonna fall. Thanks a lot, Jenny. <laughs> Push you in. Alright, we are done. We gotta take the fin off. So we're just gonna undo that screw and this just lifts forward and kinda there's a little key there so it's gotta kinda move back and it just comes off. So pretty simple. And then at that point it just lays flat on the ground. And then the next thing we gotta take off here is just the seat here that we put on. So that's pretty simple. One thing we decided that we needed is a towel so we could dry this off. So when we get back to the motorhome, we'll go ahead and we'll have to pull it out and let them and dry them off and things like that. Deflate it, it's pretty simple. It's just got, we're gonna go back to this valve up here and we just open this up and just push on this and we get an initial poof. And if you noticed here, there's some little ridges on this, so when we push it in, we can actually twist it, and it locks it open. And then we just let it deflate. The air will continue just to deflate out of this. Then you just use the pump to pull out all the air. We have to figure out what side is the one that's sucking. <laughs> that's it. So we're going to go ahead and put this on that side. 
and then reattach the connector here again pretty simple it's on there and then we'll just start and it's now just taking the air back out of the unit There we go. Then this folds forward like that. It's down on that. This goes back around it again. Nice and neat there. Now we just have to put it into the case. Here's the little backpack it comes with. So we just go ahead and Take these items and we're just gonna put the other piece in there first. And that's mainly because when you're backpacking it, you want this nice smooth surface to be against you. Not the not all those paddles and things. So that's okay. And then we just go ahead and all these things back in there and zip it up and we are all finished ready to carry it away So that's one finished. Now we got the next one to do. Well, that was pretty fun. <laughs> well, when you get the hang of it. <laughs> yeah. Why is it so calm right here? But man, out there it is windy as can be. We it got seems fog like that rolling is. through and it's yeah. Cool. This is a really shallow lake because we did run into one issue where we had to get back off the paddle boards and the fin was dragging through the mud. So we had to get to the deeper side of the lake. So anyway, good place to try out. That's why we didn't use the ankle bracelet. For our first time, I think it worked really well. The, uh, the paddle boards and kayaks, I mean, um, they, we only had eight pounds of air in them, so it wasn't that big of a deal, eight to 10. So, but we had a lot of fun. We'll the, keep working on it. The lily pads were like, boop, 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 yeah. Like, what is that? It was like uh, <laughs> like rapids out there because all of a sudden the, all the lilies are going up in there and the water is going like this. <laughs> so, anyway, it was fun. So we're going to do more of this and that was kind of the idea. You know, we have friends that use these all the time and they're out uh, going around and, and staying at lakes and our <laughs> daughter just started doing it. So we thought we'd have, we need to try this because mm -hmm. this is good, but we don't have a lot of room to put a big kayak up on our um, car or anything you know so this is our compromise these mm -hmm. fold up into the nice little backpack and that's that's pretty handy they, they fit into our rig pretty good so this will be pretty nice so anyway uh, we put the information in our description below if you are interested you can go out to our Amazon uh, link there and check those out see what you think uh, I looked around and these this was the best that we could find uh, for what we wanted to do and it uh, stands up to had really good reviews too and the factory has got a lot of really good reviews so we're always really good um, on companies that have good customer service so these guys seem to to meet that so we're really happy with it so thanks for coming along with us hopefully we'll see you down the road somewhere and if not then we'll just plan to see you on our next video so take care